Timber Pups, the youngest duo ever in the NBA, youngest two players ever in the league. Marbury's 19 years old, averages 16 points. Garnett, 20 years old, averages about 15. Garnett in the lane with a fadeaway. He likes that shot. A lot of celebrities in the house, I John. Hello. Ah, the artist formerly known as Prince. He's now called. Now the the Timber Wolves performance team. What? It's yeah. time to choose the treasure on the lucky seat. Take a look at the scoreboard here. Six Jimmy Jan, record producer, does Janet Jackson among others, right there. James Robinson gets set to check in. Garnett spins the baseline shot. He just makes that look easy. Yes, he does. Is that? Oh, I thought it was. Look at Michael's last shot as he goes around Cherokee oh, Park. Oh, Shoots oh, it up. 48-45. Bulls with the lead. Marbury right side. Steve Kerr plays good position defense. Marbury with the long deuce hits it. Back to a one-point ball game as Michael has it. Any help? Any help? Any help coming? Any help coming? Inside. Scotty with the easy one. Dennis bounced it back to Scotty. Spun in the air. Minnesota with the save. Garnett gives it back. Marbury goes right to the basket and lays it in. And Phil wants a timeout. Marbury. Looks down low. Frankovich wants it. He'll take a long three. Oh, you want to give the ball to Frankovich, don't you? Michael, uh oh, he gets it back. At least two of them. Biggest Timberwolves lead was two points early in that first quarter. Missed it. Dennis fights for the rebound. Tapped it out, and it belonged to Minnesota. He kicked the cameraman. He was really upset. Really upset. Went up in the air, came down on the camera. You thought he sprained his ankle. Well, there's all kinds of equipment right there, and the cameraman is hurt. A struggle for it. He comes over here on the camera, man, and steps on the camera, and that's what he was upset about. Now, now the man acts like he's dying. Dennis says, I didn't do much. Well, you can almost see. The man is in some pain there. You you understand that, but you can almost see a dollar bills floating around there. One more look at it as we get ready to get back to action. Uh, Robin looks like he's got the inside. Garnett over the shoulder, over the shoulder. Now Dennis fights for it out of bounds, and I think he steps on the camera and turns his ankle, and that's what upset it upset him. Then he reaches out and gives him a kick in the leg. <laughs> Dennis is kind of smiling. I mean, it's he's got about eight guys around him now. Yeah. Luke, can you go over and help this guy get up or something? This is a joke. Well, you know what? I'm not by a monitor, so I don't know what Dennis said. I just hope that it doesn't mess him up for the rest of tonight's game because psychologically, you know, things run through someone's mind when a pro athlete does something to someone in the stands or a cameraman in this situation. So who knows? I just wanted to talk about the Garnett Marbury relationship. These guys met four years ago at a basketball camp, and they have been great friends ever since. Garnett. 
We'll take a break. We'll come back. 344 left, and the Bulls and Timberwolves are tied at 71. Garnett with two coach on him. Fades away. And Tony pulls down the rebound. The Bulls lead it by a pair. Let's see if the Bulls try and go two for one here. Scotty. Oh, right over Vrankovic. Oh, Pep. That's a foul, yes. Pip in the right place at the right time. He hustled on back. 26 seconds. Take a look at Pippen's jam over Brankovic. Whoa. And he got hit on the play, but they let it go. Long pass inside. Caffey finds Tony. Kukoc couldn't hang on. Saves it. Scotty puts up the three and oh. hits from the corner. Oh, that wasn't exactly a way to drive it drop in the book, is it? Scotty looks for the open man. Tony goes by Garnett. Oh, nice oh, bounce pass to Jason who just hammered it. Yes, sir. He went around his man, dropped it down. Jason with the hammer. We out of post up for Scotty right there. Muscles inside, comes up shy, rebound loose. Steve Kerr right there, Bulls three on two. Kukoc gets it to MJ, Michael hangs it's and hits. Hesitation hang, looked like a slam, not to be. 21 for MJ. Michael in the corner with Robinson on him. Looking for the opening, MJ fades, fires and hits again. 23 for Michael. Picks it up, finds Kerr, right side Scotty. Ugly out on him, Michael. With the fade, now backs in, fades, fires, and hits again. 25 for Michael, and Bulls lead at 104-81, and Scotty Pippen, our Chicago Bulls Budweiser player of the game. What a tremendous job, Scotty. Defensively as well, Chicago Bulls come into Minnesota, a team, John, that had been very hot here at the Target Center, and pulls out a win, 112-102. Played pretty well.